What's up guys, Dark Dally here, bringing you another Fallout short from my little settlement and sanctuary. Today I'm going to show you how to pass wires through walls. It's a very handy trick if you like nice neat wiring and you don't want to go all the way around a building. It's really easy to just pass one through a wall. The reason I'm uploading this video is because the next video I'm uploading directly after this shows you how to make the best use of the new power doors and I think the best way to do that is to pass the wires through the walls so you don't end up running wires all through your settlement. Okay, that said, we're going to start very simply with this. We want a wire from this pylon to this pylon. The only thing that is required to do that is to already have an existing wire running to the pylon. So I made this one right here. In any situation, you're going to have a wire running to it anyway for power or whatever. Here's how it's done very simply. So we want to focus on the pylon we want to move the wire from. See how that wire is selected right there? Now what we want to do is, I want to get it so that wire is selected, but yet my cursor is on this conduit. You'll see why in a second. The best way to do that is put the wire between you and the conduit, and right there. See, my cursor is now on the pylon, but I still have the wire selected. Now that that's the way we need it, go ahead and on PlayStation hit triangle on, I don't know what it is on other systems, hit triangle, and you can hear the little click like it's connecting a wire. Now when I pull the cursor away, notice there is no wire on my cursor, but I assure you it's there. We'll go ahead and run it to the pylon, and poof, it appears. It's really as simple as that. Now you see how all the electrical devices in my settlement are highlighted white. Some kind of weird thing. Hey, we just glitched the game so you can assume something weird is going to happen. All you got to do is hit circle, or whatever the appropriate button is, which backs out. And there, the wire is now there. It's selectable. It's movable. You can even grab this pylon, and I think you can move it. Okay, you can't. But um, if this pylon were further away, it would still work. Like, for instance, here, I'll show you. All right, let's go ahead and make a pylon. I thought I could move it far away. I guess it has to start off that way. We can even run way down here. Now, there's no way the wire would stretch this far. Not under normal circumstances. But this trick allows the wires not only to pass through walls, it allows them to break a few other rules of physics too, including how far they can stretch. So we just put the wire between us and the pylon, so it's selected. Click the pylon, there's the click, and I can run this invisible wire. It is invisible now, but of course it will appear. I can run it all the way down here, and voila. Remember, hit circle, or whatever button is your back button once you place it. And look. <laughs> It actually it will run a wire any length through any through any through anything. Okay, so now let's move on to more practical application of this. I will show you how to actually use it on the power door, which my next video will be about. We have a say uh, the regular conduit right here. I place a power conduit right here. So let's go ahead and power this. I'll explain how I do this door in the next video, but here you will see. Okay, we need to run power to this switch. We need to run this switch to the door. Oops. There we go. Now we go to the other side. Actually, just for ease of doing this, and this is sometimes how you have to do stuff in build mode. Let's go ahead and short out these conduits. Why am I doing this? To hold the damn door open so I can get through it. <laughs> so first, we want to run power to this switch over here. This is a perfect application of wires through walls. We want, we want to run power to this switch right here. So we need our cursor on the power conduit, but we need a wire select just like we have. Get my invisible wire in my hand. Voila. Power to it. Now let's run the door conduit to it. Just like that. Just like that. And now I can go ahead and disconnect my little temporary wire that was holding the door open. If I can find it. By the way, this trick comes courtesy of a YouTuber named, I believe his name was Prowler. He posted this on a video, and I want to give him credit for this because I would never would have figured this out on my own. He is truly a master of his art. And me being a person who likes to uh, do settlements, I greatly appreciate you. So uh, shout out to Prowler, whoever you are. Because this trick rocks. All right, guys, that was the Fallout short on how to put wires through walls. Be sure to check out the video on power doors if you want to see how to use these switches together and make a great door. My name is Dark Dally, 
like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm always uploading new stuff. I will see you guys next time.